The, in terms of active weather, the news is good. The basin of the Mississippi is pretty much dry right now, um, and this is not unusual. I, mean, I, I grew up in Iowa and Missouri, and every few years you get the Missouri and the Mississippi uh, flooding, this time around largely being blamed on snow melt that's going on to the north up in Minnesota and the Dakotas. There are some warnings up in some of the North Dakota rivers that uh, flow into the Mississippi where rivers are not expected to crest until this coming Friday at some 10 feet above normal. So it's kind of tough to tell when all of that will settle down, but at least active weather, there's no more rain falling into the situation at this moment and really not that many flood warnings up and down the Mississippi River currently in place. Here's a look at um, what's going on for us. We have an upper level low that started to approach yesterday. It brought us the cloud cover we had yesterday and brought us back some cooler temperatures in the 60s. We'll have a very similar day on this Monday. Now eventually this low is going to go down into California and as it continues to drop to the south, we'll get this return flow of moisture working up across Nevada in California into Oregon and eventually eventually get into a chance of some thunderstorms in our two state area. Um, maybe as soon as the PM hours of tomorrow. Right now we've got mainly light showers working up across areas of uh, eastern Oregon. Could be some patchy drizzle out there right now, not showing up on radar. Otherwise, it's just overcast and dry. Current numbers, 46 Newport, holding at 50 in Salem. Kelso about the same, 54 degrees in Portland, low 50s out in the Dalles as well. All these low green specks on future casts would be just some traces of rain or some patchy drizzle, kind of like what we had yesterday. Now, here we are at 6 p.m. This shows some rain coming up from the south, starting the channel along the Cascades. And did you see the bright colors? So that is some heavier showers potentially overnight tonight. This is after midnight at 1 a.m. migrating through the Portland area. Here we are tomorrow at noon. Pretty quiet. I think if I play this and get into winds. Yeah, there's another shot Wednesday afternoon of what could be some thunderstorms. So again, this is going to be the pattern much of this week. Watching showers from the south coming up, rotating northward, bouncing off the Cascades with the threat of some stormy skies at times. For today, I don't think any stormy chance. Just overcast like yesterday and some traces of moisture. Temperatures pretty much close to normal or maybe slightly cooler than normal. Models give us low to mid 60s up and down uh, the I-5 corridor today. There's uh, at 5 p.m. it shows Kelso at 60, Salem 60. So these numbers will be a little bit cooler than what we ended up with yesterday. Chances of uh, some moisture along the coast as well. Could open up some sun breaks later today like we did yesterday. This shows Central Oregon in the 50s and 60s out across the east. Here come the seven day numbers. 64 today. I think we'll start getting more of a sunshine mix starting tomorrow. That's why I have a 71, 75. And then cloudiness increases into Friday. And the next widespread shot of any rain with a cold front is tracking for Sunday with a high of only 56 degrees. We'll be back on the first day of May in just a moment.